hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how you can take the sum of your rows or your database values so for example if you want the sum of all of your ages how you can do this in Java I will tell you today age is not logical to make a sum of ages but sometimes you require that for example you have to calculate a bill and for example here instead of age prices are given and you want to calculate total price and show it into a box then this video is for that so right now I don't have those kind of logical data so I will show you how you can take the sum of your ages so I will go to my NetBeans program here what I have done is <coughs> I have taken a text box and I named it as text sum which will show the sum of the ages and this is my button which will when I press will give me the result so for example I will go to this event action and action perform and here what I need to do is first is make a try catch block so I have already done that in order to save the time so now after making your try catch block what you need to write here first of all declare your string name SQL query string sql is equal to double quotes and column and in here you will write a query so I will select select age from my table name so I will see what, what was my table name my table name is this so I will copy my table name and I will paste it here this is my column name age is my age column name so I will do like that and in here you have to enclose this into brackets like this and before this bracket you have to write sum so you have to write this query this query will add all of your rows or all of your age ages and now we will show it into the text box con dot prepared statement and sql and after that you will write the result set is equal to est dot execute query and then write if bracket and this and in the bracket of if r s dot next and in here 
we will declare a string string and I will name my variable as sum is equal to rs dot get string and after that close and here I will write what I will copy this whole sum age thing and I will paste as it is here so this will what will it will do is it will take sum and it will place the sum in this string variable and after that I will retrieve, retrieve it I have to retrieve it into this text field called text sum so I will copy this and I will go to my code I will paste it dot set text and this variable paste here so now whenever I will run my program I should see the sum of ages when I press give result button so I will run my program once again and this is my program and here is my give result button so when I press this button I should get all the sum of my ages so let's press it and this is the sum of my age and one more thing you can do is you can take your update table method which fills your data into your table I have to search for it yeah this is my update table method and I'll go to my give result action perform method and after your try catch block if you paste this update table and run the program now it gives you the same result the result of ages which is 358 so for example I will add one more value which is Bob and Molly. Sorry, this is this should be employee ID. Bob is age. I will choose he is a male and I will save the data. Data is saved and when I press it, it should it will show me the result which is different because 26 is added to 358 and whenever you press this button your table will be refreshed also so that's why I copied and pasted the update table method so in this way you can take the sum of your column values I hope you have learned something new and please rate, comment and subscribe and now I also have my blog so you can visit it and leave your comment there also. And thanks for now.